prepping for the video, guys. Um, I imported the model. I put a few of them around in the space. You can see that they actually have their um, proper color and material. On layer zero, I have glossy white. On uh, the lights layer, I put the emitter number three. Um, and I put my camera down here to just do a quick test and make sure that the lights are functioning properly before I render out the whole thing. So that emitter three does not seem to be showing me anything. That's weird. Okay, let me test something. I'm going to explode one of these and check what direction that surface is. Facing up. Um, hmm. Let me verify what layer that's on. It is on the lights layer. Maybe there's a duplicate surface here. Test this now. So um, I looked at it closely and I, I think I saw a duplicate surface. So I'm testing that to see if that has anything to do with it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. That's weird. Hang on, guys. Uh, no, we don't have to go back to SketchUp. All right, so um, I identified what the problem is. So the, the materials that are coming in on these models, um, if you select one of the ones that you've linked in, if you go to the Properties menu and you look at the, uh, you'll, you'll default to the Object tab. But there's a Material tab. And in this Material tab, you can change what the material or what the object is reading its material from. So the SketchUp model coming in, it comes in as um, it comes in as uh, assigned by the object, meaning it's reading what it came in or what it uh, applied from the SketchUp model, right? Because we just applied it all directly in the SketchUp model, but we want it to read by layer because Maxwell in Rhino is going to read the layers. So um, unfortunately, with this being a group, and not only that, a, a set of nested groups, um, the, the thing you kind of have to do is, is uh, break it apart and explode it. So there's a, there's a best practice to be concerned with, right? If it's a simple enough model, you can do this. Um, let me just grab a copy of this thing. Um, I'm just going to pull it out here and play around with it a little. Okay, so um, I have to explode it, and you'll see that it exploded it into some simple um, poly surfaces, and then I need to keep exploding it to the point where uh, each of these elements gets um, ungrouped. Actually, I wonder, if, let's see if, the, if ungroup works. Yeah, ex ungroup might work. I can't tell if it's actually ungrouping things, though. Let's try this. Ungroup. This is reading as a block, so I do have to explode it. Okay. Anyway, just keep exploding it until it says that it can't explode anymore, right? So this is the dumb way of doing it. So I'm just going to keep doing it. Cannot explode 2,702 single surfaces. Um, so that's 
not the not a good way. Um, if you if you do this, you need to make sure that you do this before you place all of your furniture. Okay. So what I would suggest is perhaps go back to SketchUp and um, SketchUp you can ungroup everything. So I can click on this thing and I can say edit um, or is it right click? I forget where it is. Maybe it is explode. I don't use SketchUp that frequently. Hang on. I thought it was this. Component, ah, explode. And then you have all these other things, so you just keep going to components and you explode them all. Uh, you're going to get a bunch of errors and stuff like that. So just make sure that you go through and you um, explode everything you can. So. Okay, and everything should look like this with no boxes. That's the important part. Okay, so um, now when you import this, these objects should come in as a single group. Um, so let me try this real quick and just double check it. Oh, uh, I need to make sure that's a SketchUp 8 version. So I'll go in here. I know it's going to come in as a really large scale. Um, for the time being, let me get rid of everything that's on these two layers for now. OK. Go to File, Import, number three, Trimmed Planes, hit OK. Scale this 1 to 12, scale 1 to 12. All right, so, um, so anyway, I'm going to go to properties. I'm going to look at my material, and it's set to uh, object. I need to set this to layer. And that way, when I'm looking at my layers over here, it came in as a, a we have emitter and glossy white. Okay, so um, the other thing that I need to make sure of is this surface coming in, that that object is set to layer. Okay, so whether or not it came in as a group and you had to explode it, or if it comes in as individual items like this that you can individually select, um, you need to make sure all of those elements are set to layer, not group. Okay or ob sorry, layer, not object. All right, so now when I um, render this, the only other thing that I want to be sure I'm rendering properly um, is the direction of these lights. Okay, so it, it sa I'm talking a lot, so it sounds like it's a lot of work. It's really not. So I grab that surface, and I check it, and that one's facing down, so that's good. So I'm going to grab uh, that shouldn't be a poly surface, should it? No, well, I guess it is. Um, I'll check that. Looks like that's facing up and down. Uh, I didn't realize that was a poly surface when I made it. Oh well, let's test it. Should work. Um, so let me grab all of these items and I'm going to now make those a group in Rhino. So um, let me put one in the space and I'm going to test it in the actual um, environment that it's going to be in. Okay, so let's do something like that, and let's do a test render. Huh. Material didn't show up. That's very weird. Hang on, let me verify. Uh, let's see. Let me just make sure this went to the right layer, layer zero. 
Oh, okay. It went to the wrong layer. I don't know why. But. I don't think I took it off of that layer in SketchUp, but. Let's put these on lights, change object layer. Okay, and we'll do a little test. That one wasn't working. Okay, good. The emitter showed up under multi-light. Let's give this a couple minutes um, and then we'll discuss. Okay, so um, I don't have to talk through too much of it or, or let it render the, the whole way, but um, you can see that it's now functioning properly. So I know it, it felt like it was a lot. I, I talked a lot about it and I had that glitch that I was working through, but it's really not that big of a process. You just grab your SketchUp model. You um, probably, as soon as you grab it, want to ungroup it, and then you want to make sure that whatever surfaces you want to be a different material are on a different layer. That's it. And then save it as a SketchUp 8 file and then import and you're good to go. You might want to, after you import it, just double check that your surfaces are facing the correct direction. Um, yeah, that should be, should be it. Okay, um, what questions do you have before I proceed in, in populating some of this and then doing a sort of overall draft render? No questions? None. Okay. All right. I expect really great results then. All right.